Hello, I'm Peter Worley. I am the Head of Business Restructuring and Insolvency at James Cooper Creston. My, my team advises companies in two situations, really. Firstly, uh, we might advise a group where there's a, a surplus company that um, is no longer required and we can help by liquidating that company and getting the assets out of it uh, to the investors or to other parts of the group. Or alternatively, we can advise where a company gets into financial problems and perhaps it might be a customer of one of our clients or a, a company that our client has invested in or lent to. Or it might be that we're advising the directors of the company that's got into difficulty directly and we give uh, options on how to deal with the problems that are faced. I work with clients ranging widely in size, um, from turnover, turnover of one to 50 million, and across a range of sectors. We're not sector specific in the services that my team give. That said, consistent with the firm's own sector focus, we do a lot of work in the technology area, uh, advising companies that may have got into problems because of not being able to raise cash for, for um, product development or whatever. Uh, and our Creston participation means that we get involved in assignments with some cross-border element. What makes James Cooper Creston different from our competitors? I think it's our people. Uh, I think it's the group of partners that lead the firm. I think it's uh, the people that we have recruited to, to work with us. We have a fantastic team of people and they do a great job for, for us and for our clients. Three people to dinner? Well, I've thought about this not for a great amount of time, uh, but I came up with these three. Firstly, Jeremy Paxman, who I think might be a controversial figure, but he seems to me to be clever and informed, occasionally bombastic. I think he would have an interesting take on what's going on in the world uh, and he would carry a good conversation. So I think he would be my starting point. And then uh, I came up with Victoria Coram Mitchell. Uh, I'd have to seize the chance to dine with the two times world poker champion uh, who has a wicked sense of humour to boot. And in my third choice, I came up with Barack Obama. And my logic for that was simple. How often do you get the chance to have dinner with the President of the United States of America, uh, especially one that can walk, talk and chew gum all at the same time.